When you start to take Fortnite seriously, you start to take your specs and what you game on just as seriously. And then it becomes important for many pro players to have a solid setup. But today is not that day because we are not going to talk about solid setups, but instead setups that are ridiculously overkill. These are in many cases the dream setup and the top five most expensive Fortnite setups that we could find ranked from worst to best. And if you have seen any setups publicly showcased worth more, let us know in the comment section below. But without further ado, get some popcorn and prepare to feast your eyes on some setups that make me want to throw my setup out, curl into a ball, and cry like a small child. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get these setups we can afford. Number five is going to be Septic. He's a 14-year-old with a $15,000 setup, barely even starting up his YouTube channel a year ago. Septic has already hit over 1.2 million subscribers. It seems ever since Septic killed Tifu in Fortnite, he's been blowing up. He even admits this was a huge catalyst in bringing him to where he is today. But the kid's still only 14, so what kind of gaming setup does he have to take on pros like Tifu? At that age, I'd be lucky to have the default mic that came with the console. However, Septic isn't just some normal kid like I was playing games in his room with mom making sure you've done your homework for First. He's a full-time streamer with a full $15,000 setup. Actually blows my mind that someone so young has already achieved so much. So what does this setup consist of? Well, we have to start off with his Vertigear PL4500 chair. As all gamers know, your skill increases tenfold with a gaming chair, and I'd hope so too, considering it costs almost $500. He uses the recent Ninja Air 58 Final Mouse in Cherry Blossom Red and has hyper glides on the feet to give it a more smooth flow across the mouse pad. His keyboard is the Ducky 1 to 2 Mini that was made famous by Tifu last year, but Septic also uses rubber keycaps on the WS and D keys for the extra grip. Like most content creators around the world, he uses the Audio Technica mic, but has the upgraded AT2035 version. He then has two Dell monitors with his keyboard cam on the right monitor and the webcam on the left. Apparently, he's already broken them four times, but Septic uses HyperX Cloud Flight headphones, admitting that they're great, just not that durable. But what about the PCs? Yep, that was a plural. A lot of streamers will use two PCs in order to spread the usage, one PC for gaming on and the other to stream and record. They're both pretty much identical with a 17 to 7700 CPU, 16 gigabyte RAMs, and the only difference is the streaming PC runs at a GTX of 1080, while the gaming PC runs at 1060. Now, these are all the core components he needs for his setup, but with the face cam being an important feature to any stream, he's also got some added features to help visually. Septic has 15 color changing nano leaf lights on his ceiling and a white ring light to counter any bad lighting from the neon leaves. The 14-year-old me is green with MD, but also proud for this entrepreneur of a little man. Number four is Tifu with a $20,000 setup. So Tifu and Septic setups are very similar, but obviously Tifu is going to have some of the more insane high-end gear. He's got the basic ring light, the same Ducky 1-2 mini, but with ultraviolet color rubber keys. And Tifu actually has two Ninja Air 58 final mouses, one in red and the other in lime green, both with added hyperglide feet. He then uses a Zowie cam-made mouse, Bungie, which helps with the wires. His headset is the Sennheiser HD 660, and he uses a Shure SM7B microphone, each costing you around $500. Feels like most of his equipment starts at around the $500 mark, because even his gaming chair, the Moxnomic Pro Chief, will cost you $500, although you won't get the custom Tifu font on the headrest. The gaming chair tucks neatly under an uplifting desk. He actually has a mechanical desk for lowering and raising if he needs it to. Underneath, you'll once again find two PCs. On the left, you have the small Digital Storm streaming PC with your standard 16 gigabyte RAM and NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 graphics card, but in his newer Digital Storm game, PC on the right. It's a whole new level. This thing has 32 gigabytes of RAM, two 1080 Ti graphics card, a remote controlled neon colored water cooling system, and a personalized Tifu stencil all inside. Now, this is all shown through three Asus 240 hertz monitors Tifu has on the desk. Everyone told me 144 hertz was plenty enough, but not for Tifu, getting all three at 240 hertz. Lastly, he uses the Logitech Brio for the webcam and the Logitech C930 for the keyboard camp. All in all, this is a staggering $20,000 setup. There's only a few items in Tifu's setup that could actually be upgraded, which is why we have even more expensive setups to come, but it's far away from the basic setup he must have had before killing Ninja all of those seasons ago. And at number three, we've got Reaction with a $25,000 setup, just upping Tifu by 
$5,000 on his. Now, in all honesty, reaction setup has got to be one of the cleanest and smoothest looking setups so far. When you're spending over $25,000 on an entire setup, that's something you'd expect though. It seems those nano leaf lights are a massive hit in the streaming community. As you can see, a ton of pro streamers with them in the background, but reactions has over 30 of them and they're definitely not cheap. Apparently he loves the neon and RGB effects though, because his whole room is lit up. Neon lights around the trim of his bed all over the walls and even his mouse pad has a color changing neon edge to it. On top, you'll find that ducky one or two mini again, but reaction prefers that Joker color keys and how it styles the keyboard. Next to that, you can see again, the infamous Ninja Air mouse known for only being 58 grams in weight, which if you didn't know is extremely light for a mouse. He then has that common audio technical mic I mentioned before, and I'm fairly sure that that one's the basic AT2020 version. Now, when you look up from the desk area and see the monitors, you can see why I said the setup looks so smooth. Reactions has a triple monitor stand so that you can only really see the one stand in the middle. And at the back, while the side monitors appear to be floating, the monitors themselves are all Asus 144 Hertz with the two side monitors being curved with RGB lights on the back. It's all powered by one PC this time, an i7 8700K with GTX 1080 graphics card and 16 gigabytes of RAM with liquid cooling. To enjoy the setup comfortably, Reaction uses a DX Racer Valkyrie gaming chair in white and black, and that is a crazy, crazy setup. As we move on to the number two spot from Unbox Therapy with a 30 thousand dollar gaming setup this gaming station is no ordinary streamer room type setup that would be way too simple for the people at unbox therapy this has essentially taken an entire room's gear and mounted it smoothly on the ultimate gaming chair the course structure is from Imperator Works, and just on its own, the chair will cost you over $3,500. But if you could afford that kind of lifestyle, it might just be worth it. The entire top arm raises and lowers. The chair has a built-in messaging system, raisable footrest, and the whole station can recline back if you're feeling extra lazy. Even the little keyboard desk has a motorized arm, allowing it to open and close automatically. To make this gaming office workstation the ultimate gamer setup though, Unbox Therapy, get in some of the best equipment to match. The main monitor is a 4K LG 42 inch with two vertical LG monitors on the side to give this an almost 100 inch total widescreen display. Oh my God. All the accessories are from Steelworks with an M750 keyboard, the rival 600 mouse, and finally the Pro Game DAC headset. So what kind of PC is running this behemoth of a setup? Got to be main gear, right? Well, it's a custom build from the Unbox Therapy team using Zydax equipment. It's got an i9-7980XE CPU overclocked at 4.6 gigahertz, two Asus 1080 Ti graphics card with a whoppingly overkill 128 gigs of RAM. This thing is ferocious. They've also added a PlayStation because as a gamer's paradise, it had to have at least more than one platform. The whole rig has RGB lighting fitted around and they added some more of those nano leaves near the top. The one problem with the setup is I'd probably shrivel away after it's been four weeks and I haven't left the chair. <laughs> but to keep you going, they even added their own refreshment cart full of snacks and Coca-Cola fridge on the other side, just so you never have to leave your chair ever. I mean, who wants to leave their chair, right? I mean, this, this is one team's version of the ultimate gaming setup. But what do you still think it needs? And in at number one, we got Ninja's Red Bull Stream Room, which is worth $100,000. This is an absolutely astonishing, astonishing setup that I believe was interior design wholly maybe imagined by Ninja, but built by Red Bull. We've got to the number one spot, people. And unless I see some proof, this is truly a one of a kind, one of the best gaming setups in the world. Finally finished in November of last year, Red Bull helped Ninja renovate and bring to reality his gaming paradise in his room. Imagine for most people, at first we'll get budget equipment, what'll do the job. Then we may get a few upgrades along the way. And when things are going well, you might even get a few really nice bits that you're super proud of owning. Well, this gaming setup named the Ninja Dojo, is when limits are chucked out the window and essentially get the top-notch equipment for literally everything, but both a streaming and gaming PC setups are a complete custom NXRT build containing an Avega RTX 2080 Ti graphics card and an Asus Tough X99 Mark I motherboard. He uses his Alienware monitor for gaming with a massive widescreen curve monitor on the left and another monitor on the right. Now, obviously, Ninja is going to be using the final mask and uses a Corsair K70 rapid fire keyboard. Now, Ninja has a crazy amount of expensive equipment littering the desk, like the Rode NT2000 microphone, 
and a $2,000 Studio 4K Pro Mixer, but the cameras are where things get really silly. He has three of these Black Magic Ursa Mini Pro DSLR cameras around the room, and they start at just over $5,000 each. This isn't just about the desk, though. This entire room has been utterly transformed. He's got his own dude-perfect-looking analyst desk with an 82-inch TV on the wall. The back wall alone has 543 to 55-inch TVs, all laid out like Lego blocks, and has lights, which he can manually change to any color, covering nearly every surface. He even has a disco ball on the ceiling. Similar to Tifu, Ninja also has his very own embroidered Maxnomic gaming rig. Although I doubt Tifu has custom doggy bowls built into the drawers of his desk and jars filled with candy. And with that, we hope you guys have a wonderful day and keep it right here on Top 5 Gaming.